and I, I since I had two video on, on online, so I could have two angles to look at. So I could see who was doing what. And I was seeing one video that was about 44 minutes long. And this video had a title name, uh, J Jackson X, Jason X, I'm sorry. And he was identified as one of the Antifa. He took the video from beside of the lady who got shot. I think that everybody who watched those video only see what happened to that lady, right? But I was watching the people around her. And I just, I saw two men who was leading the crowd. And one man got in front of the people facing uh, one of the, I think, police or guard. And he was saying, hey, everybody, he was saying, and it looked like he was trying to calm everybody down. But what he was doing was, I think he was trying to everybody get upset so that people would attack. That's what I thought. And he got, he didn't have anything at first. In his hands. In his hands. But he had his body right next to him. With He has a yellow flag uh, around his body. He gave this man uh, a black helmet. And when he got the helmet, he took his hat off. The hat was really thick winter hat. So I think he used it as a cushion to, you, to hit the glass with the helmet. So he started to crush the window. And then uh, one man right next to him, he had a stick and he was also hitting the glass, but I did not know that if he was part of them or not. But those two are uh, actually clearly communicating when they were doing this action. And then he broke the window, and then the lady climbed up the window and she got shot. And the camera goes to the women, right? But though I was looking those two guys, one with the yellow flag went to the crowd. And the other one who actually hit the window went to downstairs where the police were. And I saw him, he was, he did not escape. He was down there and he had his backpack and it was gray and with black on the back. So I could see that was his back with the color. And I saw him that he was opening the backpack and he was putting his hat, I think, or his shirt inside the backpack. And he changed his appearance so that I think he could manage to stay there without getting caught or without people noticing that was him. When I saw this, he's not Trump supporter because he was leading the crowd and communicating with those uh, other guy, and he was changing, changing his appearance. How would Trump supporter do that? He was trying to um, agitate people to go inside the building further so that they have the confrontation between Trump supporter and then police. And then funny thing is that I had one more camera who was, who got the picture of the person who took that previous video, uh, am I explaining yes, correct? Yes. So I could see who took that previous video and I saw his face and from that video, Andy no Andy identified. The person who took the video was one of the member of Antifa and he was taking the picture, the video, and I think he was there to report, report. Uh, as if um, Trump supporter attacked and police shot the woman who was unarmed. And he was saying that she was, she is dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's How dead. can you tell? She just got shot and she got, medic was there. So people are trying to help her. And the police are saying we can save her. Yes. yes. So how can he say that 
she is dead. And I thought, he is trying to make Trump supporter upset. Because Antifa or people like uh, around them like to say defund the police, right? But Trump supporters say back the blue. So they have a uh, different opinion. But from this occasion, they can make transporter upset with police. So he was saying, um, she is dead, she is dead. And then he started to walk um, around and telling people, she is dead, she is dead. So then people get upset with cops. And so Trump supporters started to yell at police. And then, so from that video, um, I could see that there are two players uh, dress, dressed like Trump supporters. And then you have this Antifa guy trying to report as he was one of the witness, telling that uh, he's, he saw what he saw. But eventually he, got, he appeared on CNN saying that he was a witness and he saw the women unarmed. But CNN didn't say about him or why he was there. 